This was out with a knee injury, but the Bucks were still able to get away with a win at Pfizer Forum last night. Our Delaney Bry has some more on the key moments in the Bucks' big win. He earned the nickname Splash Mountain for making it rain threes, but last night, Brooke Lopez was king of the key, working the bottom of that glass, making dunks nonstop, putting up 33 points, a new playoff career high for Lopez. I think there was, you know, great opportunity for him to, you know, I think just get the ball a little bit more, try and use him a little bit more. Um, and he came through big time. You know, he made plays, but he, he did it. He did it in a lot of different ways. He did it in pick and roll. He did it on the offensive glass, um, you know, got to the free throw line. Uh, just an overall, you know, really, really impressive effort. And what was great about today is we were really all just basketball players playing together, both on offense and on defense. You know, we, we were playing off one another, making plays, making extra passes. Uh, and it was a lot of fun tonight. We already know what we're going to get out of Brook. Uh, he protects the rim, plays hard. He's a team guy. Um, you know, he's, he's fun to play with, man. He's um, a joy to, you know, be on it to be uh, alongside. So uh, what got into him was just him being himself, knowing that the situation that we were in, and he wasn't going to let the team down. As the Milwaukee Bucks and Atlanta Hawks go back to Atlanta for game six, one thing we will keep you updated with, does Trey Young play for the Atlanta Hawks? He was out here pregame earlier for game five, and he actually was at shoot-around in the morning. As he gets closer to recovery, we'll keep an eye on him, as well as an update with Giannis Attentacumpo, a possibility for game six. Reporting at Pfizer Forum, Delaney Bry, TMJ4 News.